Hello everybody, this is my empties 2018 2. Um, I've got an eyelash. Uh, speaking of which, I get a lot of comments about how I apply my skincare and about not being rough with my face. Thanks for your concern. Uh, I'm qualified in skincare and I'm very confident with my application. The reason that I may seem that I apply some things quite uh, apparently rough um, is because there are muscles under your skin and all over your face and um, I like to give them a bit of a workout. Um, but that's not saying that you have to, but I'm getting a bit bored of the comments, so I'm just deleting them. So save your time, but I appreciate your concern. Also, if you're going to write and tell me that I've got, um, what was it? It was quite funny. My lashes suck, thanks. Uh, again, I don't really care what you think of my lashes, but if it's making you feel better to get it out, then do, but again, I'm just going to delete it because it's not sort of helpful. Also, maybe if you feel like writing that sort of thing, you could think about it and do something positive instead of negative. But if it does make you feel better, knock yourself out. I don't really care what you think about the hair I grow out my eyelids. Anyway, empties. I've already got this little bag because otherwise it just gets all too much in my bathroom. Um, so this, so I did a review of this. This is the Waitrose Moisturising Bar Foam. I did a review of them recently, not that recently, on the blog last year. They're about £1.50 and I really like them. This was the Sea Salt and Kelp, which I had high hopes for. Um, and it was my least favourite. I'm also having, it makes me feel like, the reason I mentioned it, even though it's not a very exciting product. The bottle is recyclable, the lid isn't. I'm finding it so, so difficult to find a nice bath product that is, smells good, is effective, and is eco-friendly. If anyone has any suggestions, I would really appreciate it because I am struggling right now. Um, you can get like bath bombs, but that's just one thing and then you're done. And I want something that lasts longer. Um, so yeah, suggestions please. Um, this conditioner, which I love, it's the Main and Tail Original Conditioner. They didn't have it when I went to rebuy it, so I'm trying the herbal one, which is not as good. Um, again, I'm trying to find an eco-friendly version. I bought a Lush conditioning bar and I, and I hate it. In fact, I don't like it enough that I've, I'm hopefully gonna take it back. Um, and try another one, but it just is like rubbing your hair with, an, uh, with like, actual soap which is just pointless so there's that um let's get all the hair stuff out of the way so this i was sent to try it's the shea moisture um super fruit complex 10 in 1 multi-benefit shampoo um and it's reader's choice allure beauty expert award winner from 2015 so this has got no sulfates no parabens no uh, paraffin, no mineral oil, no synthetic colour um, and it was fine. I really liked it but I can't remember how much it was um, but it wasn't cheap. I did get sent it for a review and I didn't review it on the blog because I just, I was underwhelmed. Um, it was perfectly fine, it was, it cleaned well, it didn't make a dramatic difference to my hair, it was no better than my old favourite which we're about to talk about. Um, and for the price I felt, um, uh, also it has an expiry date 02 2018 which I went over and I washed my hair a lot so uh, there I feel I feel guilty when I get sent stuff and I don't review it on the blog I did tell them I wasn't going to review it because it didn't work for me and um, but I did use all of it because you know, sometimes it takes a while for stuff to, the benefits kick in. So this is my old favourite. I think I have these in every empties video. Um, again, I'm having trouble because obviously the plastic um, is problematic for me. So I'm using um, a bar, which I'll never be able to show the empty of because it just disappears. Um, I'm using a soap bar, uh, which is in my monthly favourites, which I'll link to below. 
um, from Lush and I do really like it. It's not as good as this. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to wash with the soap bar for my first shampoo and then I'm using this for my second shampoo. So I'm getting through less of it. Um, and again, I'm going to try and keep finding the perfect soap bar, but having not used this for a month or so, whilst I was properly trialling the shampoo bar, I then used this again and realised how bloody incredible it is. It's the Cow Shed Grumpy Cow Shampoo. I think that's all the hair stuff. Then, sad, this is going to make me sad, this is my sample pot of the Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Deep Cream. I love this cream, it is great, it makes my skin look brighter, it smells nice, um, I really, I really liked it, it was one of the few really high-end creams that I thought, wow, this is great. Um, it's, this is the sample pot that I got given at an event, um, this is £70 a pot. So I'm just not in a position to buy it. If I was in a position to buy it, I would. Origins Make a Difference Plus Cream. Um, I love it. I actually have two empty pots here because I am hoping that if I take these in or I can send them to them or something and they will recycle them because it just seems like such a waste and they're, they're nice pots but like not ideal to just be getting through them but, but one of these does gen generally last me six months fairly regular almost daily use so this is the keratin smooth 60 second treatment shot from tresemme concentrated rinse off treatment um i don't really rate tresemme it doesn't really work for my hair i know some people love it um but this i did really like um it was like a quid or something from boots and what i thought would be really nice and and it did me a couple of washes but what I thought would be really nice is if you were going travelling or something, um, you could take that with you. Because you know how sometimes, I don't know, if I go to France, my hair just doesn't like it. Um, the change in water. It's used to horrible London water now. Um, so it'd be quite nice to have this so that if you suddenly needed a bit of a hair treatment, you've got it. It doesn't take up very much room. Um, this. Uh... I'm going to try and do a blog post on what brands recycle their packaging. I know I always say that. This is the Chamomile Body Butter from um, the Body Shop. I've got everyone in my Facebook group, group hooked on this. Everyone who tries it seems to love it. It's £10. It lasts a long time. It smells nice. It gets all your makeup off. It makes your face feel really clean. It works if you have sensitivity. I'm not sure how it works on oily skin. If you have oily skin and you've used this, maybe you could let me know how it works. I'm assuming it's probably not great because although it doesn't leave a residue, it probably would feel like you it left a res residue if you had oily skin, if that makes sense. I've already got a new tin of that and when that runs out, I will rebuy it. Then I've got my really old, it's kind of all rubbed off, um, collection, Lasting Perfection uh, concealer. This one is in medium three. Um, I get either medium two or medium three, or is it light two? I either get two or three for me, it depends on what mood I'm in. Um, sometimes they oxidise, sometimes they don't. So the colour on this can really change, um, but it's still a fantastic concealer. It's my first stop concealer for people when I'm recommending a concealer, because there's some products I recommend, like the next one I'm gonna talk about, that are more expensive. I don't like, even though I love the Clarence Instant Concealer, that's 21 pounds, this is four pounds 19. So start with this, and if you like it and you wear it a lot, you might want to migrate onto something more expensive, but this is a great place to start. So this is the lasting perfection concealer from collection and then this which is the Chinzing you can see how much I love it tinted moisturizer um, from origins I've cut the top off so that I can get it all out this is fantastic this lasted me pretty much six months five days out of seven use um, a little goes a long way my only complaint about it would be that if you get too much out you can't put it back in um, but because it's it changes colour when it touches your skin and the air, obviously it has to be in a, sorry I was slouching there, in a sealed tube. I just love this, everyone I've recommended it to loves this, everyone who has my beauty boxes and requests this in them loves it, it's a really great product. I'm already onto my next tube, um, it's just fantastic. 
that is it um i hope you enjoyed a little look at what i've been getting through the basket it, the thing is now empty and um i will see you next week for a quick review